How do you balance between worship and marriage? The first response, of course, is you have to understand that marriage is an essential ibadah. One of the greatest things that you can do as a husband or as a wife is to adore and to love and to cherish the person who you're sharing, inshallah, the rest of your life with, who becomes a cornerstone for the community that you live in. The Prophet ﷺ speaks so often about the worship that is found in marriage. Here are three examples. One, charity. Prophet ﷺ said, there isn't anything spent by someone in the family, upon their family, except it is a charity that they earn reward with Allah for. Allah, the Prophet ﷺ said, إِنَّ أَبْرُكَ الصَّدَقَ إِنْفَاقُ الْمَرْءِ عَلَىٰ أَهْلِهِ Of the charities that have the greatest reward is to spend on one's family. Number two, is to assist one another in times of need and perseverance. And the Prophet ﷺ, he said, that a person is always in the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as long as they are in the assistance of other people. And Allah therefore then becomes their assistant in life. The third thing is our uh, cohabitation and the love that we interchange and the physical attention and intimacy that we have. Just like our sins would be earned by stepping outside marriage, there's an enormous reward for showing love, fidelity, and contentment with one another. Those are all acts of worship. And how great it is to lead your family in salah, and siyam, and zakah, and hajj. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make her pillars of the community and remember the dua of the Quran. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa dhurriyatina kurrata a'yun wa ja'alna lil muttaqina imama. Oh Allah, rise up for us and make for us from our families and our loved ones that which will please our eyes and set us as imams for others in society.